honest. How do I look? <laughs> I'll try again. Betty, be diplomatic. How do I look? <laughs> I'm tired of you belittling the benevolent order of buffaloes. I'm proud to be a Bob. Well, I'm proud to be a Betty, but I don't walk around with an animal on my head. <laughs> Why have I been summoned, your imperial horniness? <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, when you regain your composure, we'll discuss the <coughs> annual Buffalo fundraiser. Are you going to want me to sell Buffalo Kisses again? Yes, but this year we'll see if we can get them to pay you. <laughs> Actually, we needed a nurse, so I volunteered your services for our blood pressure station. Fine. I'm curious to see if you Bobs have any blood pressure. <laughs> Maintain that attitude, and your dance card will be empty at the Bison Bop. The Bison Bop? Yes. That's when we really let down our horns. <laughs> now, were you scared? Is geography boring? I was terrified. I could smell the beer in his breath. The next time Mr. Deaton offers me a ride, I'm walking. Same here. He shouldn't have been driving. But he's Joey's dad. And we can't tell an adult what to do. I think it's a federal law. I'll tell Henry. He'll know what to do. He's always sensible. Most of the time. Nice hat. What do you feed it? <laughs> Did you tell her to say that? No, but I wish I had. <laughs> Come on, kid. And step carefully. We're in Buffalo country. <laughs> finally decided to become a junior bisonet. I'm not quite ready for that yet. Oh, okay. What I have to talk to you about is real important, too. This afternoon... Hello! Hello! Hi! Henry, old buddy! <laughs> Put him there, old pal. Hoof to hoof, horn to horn. <laughs> Next day, Henry A. Not in front of the uninitiated. Oops, sorry, kids. If an elder bison saw us, we could lose our horns. You jumped out of the car so fast you forgot your jacket. Punky, did you tell your dad about your ride home?